Hello and welcome back to Detroit Reforms, everybody. I am your host, DJ Oliver, and I'm coming to you from Detroit's Eastern Market, where each Saturday, as many as 40,000 people flock to enjoy one of the most authentic urban adventures in the United States. Now, let's get things started. Tom Renshaw is in demand throughout the world for his ability to render black and gray portraiture, but it's Tom's choice of canvas that surprises. I've been drawing pretty much since birth. Uh, my earliest memories of childhood would be with a pencil and paper in my hand. My mother has a photo of several pieces of artwork that I did for a state fair when I was a young boy. And uh, all of them were replications of people. So the one nice thing about art with a pencil or paint when you're replicating human beings, there's a completely different, um, you move into a different realm of art because you almost have a, you become that person. The person you're replicating becomes extremely important in what you're doing. It's another, per, it's, it's another being, so the art that you're replicating becomes that much more important because it's encompassing another human being particularly if it's a family member. I received some material the other day, and um, man, is it fantastic. A lot of the stuff I receive is not of the quality of this photo, and there's a few fantastic things about it. One, the quality of the black and gray print is fantastic. It's set in the Korean War, uh, this is the father of a young man named Steve. His father is Native American and served in both World War II and Korea. And this is going to be a great project, great photo. In speaking with Steve, I also came to learn that Steve also served our country as a Navy SEAL. So I'm really looking forward to meeting him. Well, there's no question that tattooing can be a little bit uncomfortable. I will say, however, that one thing I'm known for is having a very gentle hand, which by necessity, if you're a photo realist, has to be so. The art of approaching photo realism on skin takes a very soft, subtle approach because there's no going back. You can't put something in too heavy and then wish you hadn't of. I just, you know, my parents, um, you know, I look back at them and I'm thankful for the life I've had and the opportunities I've been granted because of their sacrifices. And uh, for me, the, the tattoos aren't merely just decorating my body. I want to express my outward appreciation of things and, and I, I do like the way the art looks. That's why I would, I'm here for Tom because I just don't want something slapped on my arm. I want something that's beautiful in nature too. Uh, I, I just notice like when I go to tattoo shops, I just look at people's tattoos and appreciate their art or, or wonder why they got that. And I've always been artistic in nature, not enough to create art of my own, but, but to appreciate it, even on my own skin. When I have clients come to me who've lost a child or lost a sibling and they're feeling pain uh, the ultimate goal is at the end of our session for them to have a piece of artwork that not only looks like their loved one, but represents their loved one on their person from that point on. And it really provides quite a, a bit of relief. It gives them something to hold on to. From that point there on, there's always a part of that loved one that is a part of them permanently. My grandfather came off the reservation, and at that time, when my grandfather came off, they didn't really take a census of Native Americans. So if, if uh, as the way it was explained to my dad through a geneal genealogical, and the Mormons keep a big tab of that, is that he didn't live near a white family, they would say three white males, they would take the census of that. Two people say, creating male, art at the same time and were sharing of emotions 
and uh, it's really a very intimate process and I've found that the process benefits both the client, the recipient of the tattoo, and myself. It's really, uh, it's very symbiotic. Black and gray tattooing, particularly photorealism, is more of a layering process. You will go over and over and over the stenciled area as many times as necessary to create the different fine shades that create the uh, three dimensions that photorealistic black and gray tattooing represent. In, in almost every art form, there's always the opportunity to go back and reassess and correct. And within tattooing, that is not an option. To find out about Renshaw as well as all the other artists featured in today's show, head to DetroitPerforms.org.